a shout out to all my viewers, all my subscribers. A happy, very happy Friday to each and every one of you. I hope everybody's doing well, keeping safe and have a plan for this weekend. So it's Friday night and I want to make a Friday night dinner for my family. So that's um, no other but pizza. So today we're going to be making pizza for my family dinner and I'll share the recipe with you guys. It's so simple and so easy. Hope you guys like the step and hope you guys can try this recipe. Pizza is so simple that you can do anything you want with it. You can add any toppings. So it's also fun to do with your family and your kids. You can get them involved. So guys, if you come on down, we'll show you guys how we start the process. So guys, for the pizza dough, we will need yeast and I have here instant yeast and this is brown by brown betty and brown betty is actually a place in Guyana so I was very impressed when my husband bring this yeast home so we have very uh, like lukewarm water I'm gonna put one teaspoon of yeast in there and then I will add one teaspoon of sugar into this yeast because the sugar usually helps it to to get the way we want it to be. And I'm just gonna stir it up a little. So I have two cups of water in this um, pot and it's not like cold water or something like that. A little bit lukewarm. So I have my yeast in there and I will, I have three cups of flour in here and I'm gonna make a hole here because we have to knead this to a dough. And then I'm gonna start to knead this as we um, as we speak. I'm gonna be kneading this. So I am just wanna mix this yeast and the water up properly. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my time and knead this dough. I don't want it to be a stiff dough. I want it to come to a nice, moist soft dough but that's gonna all come in its time if you notice i'm re i'm mixing it in this huge big bowl because the yeast tend to make the dough rise up and i want to put it in a bigger bowl because when i leave it to rest i don't want to put a small bowl and then it's all gonna flow flow over the bowl so that's why I'm using this big bowl. So I'm just gonna knead this dough and it's feeling nice and soft. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the water. If you don't use all of it, that's fine. But make sure that you don't put too much because then you will have to keep adding flour. So I'm gonna knead this and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks. So guys you want to give this dough a good kneading so that's why I put it on the counter and I'm gonna knead it for a, a couple of minutes before I let it rest that's how you have to make pizza if this was roti I, it would have been done by now and I would let, leave it or start cooking it but for this pizza dough you want to give it a nice good knead and I'm gonna just knead it to my satisfaction because I love to knead flour. I love when I'm making something with um, roti or some kind of um, baked goods or something that you use flour. I just love when the flour turn out good. You actually feel a great satisfaction when you're kneading dough. Jessica always try. We, what do you always try to do, Jess? I try to knead the dough when you're not looking. <laughs> when I'm not looking, she tried to knead my dough or she would try to touch, keep going and touch the dough all the time. And she know how much I don't like when she do that. But it's actually a very, very nice um, calming. I don't know if, if calming is a word, but it's a very nice... Um, satisfying feeling to thank you Matt a very nice satisfying feeling when you need dough because it feels like I don't know if anybody ever use a, um a, one of those um what do you call the ball the stress ball it actually feel like if you're rolling your hands on a stress ball and that nice comforting feeling that you get that's how I get from from kneading dough. I know dough is a little bit of a messy kind of a job, 
but I, I don't know, maybe because I like cooking and I like doing stuff like that. That's why I like it. But guys, I think this is enough kneading and I can feel how so soft, so, so soft this is. I just want to play with it more and more. But if we do that, we won't get to where we want to be today. So I'm going to put it to rest while I'm preparing the rest of, I'll cover it with um, a cling wrap. And while this is setting, we're gonna go ahead and prepare the rest of the stuff for the pizza. Today I'm gonna be making two different kinds of pizza. And I'm gonna be doing a chicken Hawaiian pizza. And I'm gonna be doing a vegetable and cheese pizza. And I just wanna shout out to Marlin because she requested that I make pizza. So Marlin, I hope you're watching Hope you enjoy the step for this recipe and that you will try it sometime soon. So guys, let this sit and we'll come back and show you guys the next step. So guys, we're gonna make a chicken Hawaiian pizza and I have some chicken breasts here cut up into small pieces and I'm gonna add some flavor to that. It's already been washed and cut and now I'm gonna grate one clove of garlic because we wanna flavor the chicken up before I add it on the pizza. You can, you can add whatever um, ingredients you prefer to put on your um, chicken. But today I'm gonna to put just a simple few ingredients, which is garlic is one of them. And I don't wanna overpower the pizza with too much of flavor. So I'm gonna just minimize whatever I'm putting into the um the, the chicken so i have one clove of garlic i'm gonna have, add a quarter teaspoon of onion powder and i will add into that a quarter spoon of black pepper and this is to give the chicken some flavor because we just we don't want to put plain chicken on the pizza and we i'm gonna add half a teaspoon of salt and guys this is two chicken breasts i cut up and washed so you can use um any part of the chicken but you have to add meat only not bones so i'm using chicken breast so i have half a teaspoon of salt and to give it a nice color and not to have the white chicken watching you when you're eating the pizza i'm adding half a teaspoon of soya sauce and that's gonna change this color a little to um, not from white but to a nice color it's gonna give us when we're done cooking the chicken so i'm gonna mix this up a little so we're trying to put not too much of ingredients in here but we want to make sure that the chicken have flavor and taste as well so i'm gonna i have my stove on the um heat warming up Sorry, I have my pan on the stove warming up. So I'm going to put this chicken to cook and then we will come back and show you guys how we do that. Okay guys, so I have two teaspoons of oil in the pan and I'm using coconut oil. I have the stove on low, the stove on low because I don't want to splatter up. And I went ahead and add a half a teaspoon of Chinese sauce into this because I didn't like the color that the chicken was showing after I finished mixing it up into the seasoning. I like to make sure that my chicken have a nice color. So the oil is not hot. Like I always mention, I don't put it in when the oil is too hot because it's gonna splare up and, and, and give me um, a lot of steam on the camera. So I'm gonna let this cook. And as I'm cooking, I'll show you guys how the next step goes. Guys, this is how the chicken, I flip it. This is how it's looking. It's looking nicely, I like how the color is. And if you find that the chicken pieces is too big for your pizza, you can always, when you finish cooking it and taking it off the stove, you can cut it back into small pieces. I'm gonna see when it's done cooking how it looks. And if it's too big, I'm gonna cut it back so we can have nice bite size or we can have more pieces all over the pizza. So I will cook this up down and then I'll show you guys how it looks when it's done. So guys, the chicken is done. Done cooking. 
I taste it, the flavor is good. It doesn't need any more salt or anything else. So I'm gonna turn the stove off and let this sit until it's cold. So while this is sitting and we're still waiting for the dough, you can let your dough sit for half an hour at least. But by the time I finish getting everything together, it's gonna be way past that. So I'm gonna let this sit. And then the next thing we're, go we're gonna be working on is the vegetables for the vegetable pizza. And here I have, I have, um, I'm gonna add green peppers on the vegetable pizza. I have yellow, I have red, I have orange, and I have red onions, along with the, um, the tomato sauce and cheese for the vegetable pizza. So my camera person today said, mom, can I please cut the vegetable for the pizza and you can do the filming. So I'm gonna let her cut and then I will do the filming and she's gonna show you guys how we're cutting this vegetable for the pizza. So guys, this is how we're cutting the, um, the peppers. We wanna make like C shapes. So she's gonna cut all these pepper in the same length and shape. So because we want everything to cook equally and um, to make sure all have the same size and length. So nothing is not cooking before any or some is not gonna be raw. You want it not to fully, fully cook and be like mushy, but you still want a texture. So Jess is gonna cut all these peppers up and then we will come back and show you guys how it looks when we, she's all done. Jess, you wanna say hi? Hi. Hey guys, it's time for us to check this dough. I had it sitting, ooh la la. So I cover it with a tea towel and some saran wrap. Look at that. And actually it was sitting for more than half an hour because I was cooking the chicken. We had to get the cheese grated and we had to cut up all the vegetables and so i waited i mean i didn't wait but by the time we get all that done it was um more than um half an hour so it's gonna um i'm just gonna show you guys now how we're gonna do this i want to get the i want to get the satisfaction of punching this dough so i'm gonna do that right now and guys you guys know when we leave it it wasn't it wasn't this, um, it was less than this. So now um, it's actually double in the size. So I'm gonna punch it. But before I do that, Jess, can you take a picture for the photo? Okay, so look at that, guys. I'm gonna take this out quickly. Uh, and it looks like a lot of dough for two pizzas. So I'm gonna see how it works, if I can make more than two out of it, because I have a lot of toppings and I know uh, um, too much pizza is not gonna go to waste in my house not at all Jessica you think to too much pizza is gonna go to waste in this house no I'm gonna eat all of it you're gonna eat all of it mm -hmm. well I would be very happy if you you would eat all of it because you're not a big eater I know how little you eat so guys I'm gonna cut this dough back I guess I'm gonna cut it into three pieces or I want to have a big piece for the chicken one and then I'm gonna use these ones here maybe for smaller pizza so guys what we're gonna do here now I'm, I'm gonna try to make it off as a wrong pizza because we have the pans that I'm using I don't have pizza pan I'm gonna use my roti pan, which is my tawa. And guys, I oil the pan and I wanna bring it over here. I oil the pan on the bottom. And then what you wanna do is push the dough out like that until it's where you want it to be. So this is so soft, guys. You can see how my hands are just pushing it out like that. So it is so, so soft. Jessica, I know you wanna do this, but if you want, I can let you do the square one. So see how quickly that that went out. And I guess this here was so easy to do, guys. You don't have to, some people roll it out, but you don't have to actually roll it out. And you just have to make sure that you get it to the size you want. And guys, if you look on here, show them Jess, 
we have all the toppings we have the pineapple that she just showed for i had a fresh peeled pineapple yesterday and then this is the chicken and on here is all the vegetable for the vegetable pizza so guys we're gonna enjoy this pizza today because it's homemade so just you want to take your side back on my left side <laughs> So I'm just going to nicely flatten it out. Guys, this is super, super, super moist. And when I was kneading, um, preparing the yeast for the dough, I actually then didn't let the yeast sit because they say sometimes let your yeast sit. I didn't let it sit because you can actually do it right away. And I had to add a pinch of salt in there, but I leave out the salt. So I just um, add the sugar and I just add the yeast and... I just add the warm water and the dough, the flour, and that's all I did. So when you put your your knuckles into here, it's gonna help it not to have. It's gonna give it a nice pocket in there. So guys, what I wanna do now is to add my sauce. And so guys, I have my sauce in here, and you wanna add a nice, a nice smooth sauce because you don't wanna add chunky tomato. And this is any kind of pasta sauce or any kind of um, sauce that you, tomato sauce that you have in your home. You just wanna, um, you want, that you can use that for this pizza. So I'm just gonna put the sauce in the middle and then I'm gonna work my way down to the end like that. So this dough is super, super soft guys, super, super soft. I have my oven warming up for 350 degree and that's gonna be ready in any moment so I'm gonna keep doing spread this out as nicely as you can and if you don't have a pizza pan guys trust me you can do it in a baking any baking pan you can do it in any baking pan or any kind of pot something that can work in the oven you don't have to get a specific pan I have here um some grated freshly great mozzarella cheese and this is was done by matthew thanks to matthew thanks to matthew and thanks to jessica for helping me to do this video to help me to cut the vegetable and there goes the oven and natalie loves to cut vegetable but for some reason today she's busy doing some crafting and she didn't want to participate but that's okay because she's the first one who always cut my vegetable and a day when she, when i'm making something very nice that she would like and she's not participating i know that craft probably means so much to her right now so i'm not gonna even ask her or bother her because she's the first one to help when i have vegetable but i guess she's really super into that craft so guys sauce is there cheese is there i'm gonna add the chicken and what i did guys i did cut them back because i want to have a lot of chicken in every bite i don't want to have like one piece of chicken and one piece of um of a slice of pizza so i went back and i cut this chicken into smaller pieces because i can have it all over the path the the pizza and we can have um the more the merrier right always the more the merrier so i'm gonna make sure that it's loaded with chicken and whatever is left i'm gonna use it for another pizza so kids are gonna be happy and we're gonna have a lot of extra which is not too bad because when you have kids pizza is never too much so it's looking so beautiful right yes and now what i'm gonna do i'm gonna because it's a chicken hawaiian i'm just gonna spread out these pineapple and guys if you don't like pineapple or if pineapple is not something that you would because some people eat pineapple but they still don't like it on pizza you can totally totally leave it out and just use the chicken and the cheese and the sauce that's great but you, if you can handle the pineapple, go right ahead and add it in. If you don't have the pineapple when you're making this pizza, it's not a big deal. You can still make it without the pineapple. So pizza is a such a friendly, nice thing that you can add 
whatever you like or you can take off something that you don't like and you can make it I as pineapple. i know you can make it as best as you like it you can personalize the pizza and make it the best way you can so my oven is ready and i'm gonna put this one in and then we'll start working on the vegetable one this here we have the other one and we're gonna put it again i have um oil in the bottom of the pan and all you want to do is stretch it out stretch it out with your hands like that and then you can make it as big as you can to fit this pan or even if it don't fit the pan as long as it comes to a size that you like if you don't like thick crust pizza and you prefer thin crust pizza you can stretch it out as big as you prefer or as you like so guys if it's if your pizza is um once you have the dough and you have your topping you can personalize this pizza as best as you like or your family can enjoy so that's the great thing about pizza you can throw on anything that that your family would eat and i think they would all be happy this one is a little bit thin on this part but all you have to do is just fix it up back there's no special art there is no special way leave out add in anything that you wish guys so it's Friday night and I um, I just like when it's the weekend to make something special for the family. So they, they've been asking a long time and one of my viewer, and I shout her out earlier, Marlene, she's, they, um, they request that I make pizza. So I said, what a good day to make it. It's a Friday, it's, um, it's raining outside and it's not so nice that you can go out but I just want to do something nice for a Friday afternoon because lately we've been sitting in the backyard having dinner and sometimes we go for a walk if the weather is nice if not we'll sit there for late like 9 30 until the place get dark or 10 and then we will come inside so today it doesn't look like we can go out because of how the weather is so now again I'm gonna add the sauce and I always like to start from the middle and then I work towards the end and guys I did a mini school pizza before I did a pizza with um, a pita pita bread because this is when the kids used to go to school and you wake up early in the morning you, you don't have time to make a pizza from scratch but on my channel I have a pizza for with um, that was made with if you're in a rush and the kids are hungry and you just can't get to something and you have home some pita um, or garlic naan anything like that and you have some sauce you can always grate some cheese you can add whatever vegetable you want to add quickly on that and just cook it on your stove top with on your um, baking pan or your frying pan or your towel or whatever and quick time you can make a pizza in no minute so um, I did one of those and those were like quick mini school lunches kind of thing but this one is actually from scratch so th this one I made my dough on my own and everything like that so guys if you can't and ha if you can't do it from scratch or you don't have the time just make one of those quick um, pita bread one or garlic naan or naan or whatever and now you, you can find those naan in whole wheat and you can find them in different flavor so play around guys so this one here we're gonna do the vegetables so we already put the um, cheese and sauce I'm gonna put some some um, peppers and you want to you can put whatever vegetable you can also add um, broccoli and those kind of vegetable on here you know another nice thing you can add to pizza you can actually add um, Jessica like it with mushroom like myself you can actually add um, wh um, what do you call this asparagus on pizza and it's so beautiful because you don't cook pizza for a long time and asparagus if you're an asparagus lover you would love love that so look at this one guys and I'm gonna just put the onions just put the red onion right on top like that no special way and guys 
we're gonna enjoy this so i did this one here and i'm gonna do another one because the dough i needed three cups of flour and that dough give me all this so i don't want it to go to waste so i have a vegetable vegetable one here and i'm gonna make one with some vegetable and chicken so three different kind guys pizza number three and i'm just gonna make another small little one here just so we can use up the dough because i don't want to leave the dough i have oil in the bottom of the pan so it won't stick and um i'm just gonna roll these roll this out nice and make sure that it's all over on the end i want to make it a little bit wider than the end because i'm going to show you guys what i'm going to do here so what i want to do here is something that everyone loves now with pizza so i'm just going to roll it down until i have a little bit of a length here and what i'm going to do i'm just going to put a little bit of the sauce here and this is going to be a different one so you got to get creative right guys so we're gonna put some sauce all around the edges and then we're gonna make sure that it's covered right away around. And we're gonna put some cheese in this end part here. So we're gonna make this one a little bit different. And guys, this dough, you can make a dessert with this dough. You can actually make, um, you can actually make, fill it in with some um apples and things like that so we're gonna make one with the the end of the pizza fold in with cheese and sauce so Ooh. so when you're eating this pizza if you don't like the ends it's gonna be very delicious in here oh my gosh it's gonna like squeeze out with cheese mm. yeah so you can do that and i think this would be very nice and different and then you make sure that you fold in all the ends and that's going to cook with the cheese in there. And when you bite into that, it's going to be so nice and gooey. So guys, the rest of the sauce is here and I'm going to put um, all of it. We want to use up all the ingredients. So I, like I said, this, this dough can work for so many things. You can make dessert with it. You can fill it in with any kind of fruits or jam or anything that you like. And then you can um, you can make it that way as well, or you can make a Nutella pizza, right? <laughs> so I forgot to add this in the rest of the pizza, but the kids love when we put a pinch of oregano into the pizza. And this one is absolutely gonna be a different one because this one have the oregano. The oregano gave a beautiful, beautiful flavor. So it's dry oregano flakes and Jessica is asking me here to put the rest of the topping and then here take the cheese and you can um, decorate this one. If you need more cheese, let me know so I can grate some more. But um, this is gonna be a different flavor because this one have the oregano and this one is gonna have chicken without pineapple and some of the peppers and onion. So just get all that cheese into the middle or divide it up nicely and so you take the take the whole plate and get everything into there because we don't want to waste anything or we don't want to leave anything back you think that's enough cheese or we need some more i think that's enough okay you sure about that yeah and then we're okay. gonna add our and then you can put the chicken nicely all around so this is gonna be a different flavor. So we have three of them, and all three is they're gonna have they're gonna be different pizza. So we have the chicken Hawaiian, and we have the vegetable pizza, and then we have this one here with the um, the ends rolled in with the cheese, and we have we're gonna have some vegetable on this one. So guys, let me know in the comment which one of these pizza you think is gonna be. Um, the kids favorite and which one would be your favorite if you were here and I wish sometimes that my viewers are here so you guys can get to try and taste the beautiful flavor of all the recipe that I make but um, 
I, I unfortunately we can't do that but what I can do is that I can taste for you guys and I really do appreciate you guys being with us uh, that's why I love to invite you guys into our kitchen ever so often to share different recipes and hope you guys are doing something during this time of um, quarantine to make yourself busy and not to um, you know, be depressed or over anything or things like that. But hope you guys are staying um, busy. Find something nice that you will enjoy to do. And um, my the thing that I like to do is to cook and garden and spend time with my kids. So whatever will make you happy, guys. If it's dancing and sometimes I love to play music while I'm doing my household chores and cleaning do whatever you like whatever make you happy as long as it's not stressing you out so guys i'm gonna put these thank you jessica in the You're oven welcome. and we will show you guys when it's when done. They're done so guys chicken hawaiian is finished and this was a thicker crust pizza so it takes um about 15 minutes to cook because pizza take about 12 to 15 this take about 15 to 18 so this one is done and the um, vegetable one is a thinner crust pizza so depends on what you like so I have one with thick crust one with thin crust one with the end full with cheese wrapped and sauce so I'm gonna in a few minutes the vegetable one will be done and then the last and final one will be the chicken and it will be the um, vegetable and the one with the oregano so one done two more to go and we're going to show you guys very soon as they finish guys, they are all done they only take like 12 to 15 minutes the big one took about 18 minutes this one is a thin crust with the cheese and vegetables and onion and this one in the middle is the chicken hawaiian and this one at the very end is the one if you guys can remember that I rolled the end and put cheese inside and some sauce and this one have both chicken and vegetable onions but they don't have any pineapple so they and this one have some um, oregano flakes so they're all different pizza so guys they're super super hot I'm gonna cut them and then I'll plate and let you guys know how it tastes Hope you guys like the steps for these um, pizza and hope I motivate you guys to make pizza this weekend. It's, um, it's so simple and so easy to make guys. And let me know in the comment which pizza you think would be the kids favorite. If it's the one with the um, cheese in the ends or if it's the one the chicken Hawaiian or the vegetable the vegetable pizza so let me know in the comments guys so let me cut and then we'll let you guys know yummy so we're gonna do the test now and i'm gonna take one of each pieces so i have here the one with the rolled crust and the one that i add the cheese into the crust so we're gonna try that one out and this one have chicken and vegetable and then i'm gonna take a slice of the uh chicken hawaiian that's you this one was my favorite but i have to try this one with this mixture to see how it feel and this is a thin thick crust pizza and look how beautiful the i don't know if jess can see it well but look at that it's perfectly cooked and this one here is the one with the rolled end with the cheese inside it's also perfectly cooked and they're nice and warm and then for this one here it's the vegetarian pizza and I'm just gonna take take one of the inner slice and this is a thinner crust pizza so if you like thin crust pizza this will be your pick and if you like your pizza crust thicker this will be and then this one is the rolled. so guys I my kids are really really drooling right now so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna taste the vegetarian one first guys and this is for you guys. No, I'm gonna keep a good one for you guys. So I'm gonna taste the vegetarian. Mm. Oh my God. Guys, sorry guys. The crust is so crunchy and you can taste the red with the red onion and the peppers and cheese. Oh my God, guys, this one is so, so good. You got, I wish you guys can try it. So, 
this one really goes well with the um, red onion so uh, the next the, guys this is the one for you guys so cheers to all my viewers and all my subscribers I'm taking a nice bite here with piece of the pineapple this is a chicken Hawaiian and a piece of chicken I'll let you guys know mmm Oh my god, guys. My mouth is full and it's so happy right now. The real deal right here. Absolutely tastes like the chicken Hawaiian pizza. I don't know if my mouth is messy. But guys, this is the real deal. So good. The chicken is well flavored before I put it on. And it contains a bite of the pineapple, the cheese, and the sauce. Amazing. And the crust is really nicely cooked. So this is the one, the mystery one, that I've been waiting to try. So because I put cheese and sauce in the ends and roll it, and this one have both pineapple, um, chicken and vegetable, I can't wait to try it. So guys, again, mm, oh my God. Look at that, yeah. Oh my gosh, that looks so nice. Mm -hmm. So guys, it is so soft. And nothing like when you bite into a hot pizza. It's so delicious. So good. And a little bit of oregano, dried oregano in there. It's a must. And I totally forgot to put some in the vegetarian one. But guys, don't ever forget when next time you make pizza, add some dry oregano. Guys, don't forget next time you make a pizza, a pizza to add some dry oregano. It adds some extra, extra taste to the pizza. And I will be having my pizza tonight with some homemade pineapple drink that I made myself yesterday. So guys, hope you guys like this recipe. Hope I inspire you guys to make this. But Jessica have a message and she will close off tonight. So I'm going to let her close off. I wanted to share some love with you guys for coming in our kitchen and taking your time to watch this recipe. Thank you for watching it. I hope you try I hope you try to make this one day. I hope you subscribe, like, turn on the notification bell, and until then, I'll see you. Bye for now.